Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Auto Company. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. It is Monday, April 18th. Uh, you had fun, most likely fun buying come through and support these markets uh, as far as the grains go for corn, beans, and wheat. Uh, starting with the wheat market, uh, you needed some rain to come through the winter wheat areas. They're extremely dry especially into that uh, panhandle area in Oklahoma and Texas. And what you had was uh, rain come through, just a lot of rain, about five inches in some areas. So uh, a lot of flooding going on, too much rain going there, and it's not really what they needed. And so because of that, you saw a little bit of support come through into the wheat markets, uh, Minneapolis being the weakest, up four and a half, but Chicago is actually up over 13 cents majority of the day. So you found that, pr that support come through. And then that kind of overflow into the corn market, which was was up four majority of the day, only was able to close up two and a half cents higher on the day. And then the bean markets probably had the most movement uh, being up three to start off the day. Overnight trade was up three cents majority of the time, came down, tested about two to three cents lower, came up actually nine to 10 cents higher on the day and then sold off before the close, closing down one and three quarters cent there. So I do think you saw some fun buying along with the funds. I think you actually saw them coming out of the meat markets along with corn higher uh, and maybe a little bit of fun stepping out of these meat markets because they were aggressively long there. Feeder cattle down limit lower of 450 almost majority of the day. Uh, live cattle it flirted with limit lower a couple times that ended up closing off of it down to uh, $2.47 and a half cents there. And then the hogs actually were mixed up about 40 cents, so maybe a little bit of spreading going on. Outside markets, not a whole lot of movement there, weaker dollar, just slightly. Uh, crude market was down two bucks, gradually working its way higher, down 63 cents as of about 2 p.m. there. Uh, you did have them not come to agreement on about 18 countries to cut production there. A lot of people were thinking maybe you would see that. Uh, because you didn't, that's where you saw that aggressive selling come into the crude, but it has worked its way off of its recent low. We do have planting progress here at 3 p.m. We'll see how these are going. The market is expecting about 13 to 18% planted as far as corn goes. Uh, so we'll get that information there. It looks like you had aggressive planting really over the weekend for majority of the areas, not only the big I states, but also around our area in Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, a lot of planting going on there with the warm temperatures. You're going to have the rain moving through. That's going to be a welcome site to a lot of different areas too. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot moving these markets. I do have to close with a disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk loss may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.